introduction. Uh, before I actually am here to deliver the keynote speech of the Honorable Secretary Roy Simatu, who uh, sends his regrets for not being able to be here personally, but uh, I would like to congratulate all of us for pushing through with this uh, third environmental summit uh, here in Cagayan de Oro City. But allow uh, me first, before I deliver his message, to uh, greet some of our uh, distinguished guests here. First of, first of course, the Most Reverend Archbishop Antonio J. Ledesma, the Honorable Mayor Oscar Moreno of the Cagayan de Oro City, sir. Uh, Dr. Angelina Gala, President of Green Convergence, and the rest of the members of Green Convergence. Um, Mr. Joey Ayala, sir, thank you very much for the great performance earlier. Um, Attorney Jose Andres Canivel, Executive Director of the Forest Foundation of the Philippines. Uh, other distinguished guests. I'd also like to greet uh, my colleagues uh, in the DNR, particularly here, the regional officials led by uh, Regional Executive Director Arle Adorable and EMB Regional Director uh, uh, Randy Gamo, Assistant Director uh, Mindo Osorio of EMB Central Office is also here. Um, the Strategic Communication Initiative Service very instrumental in organizing this uh, activity. And uh, most importantly, all the other attendees and participants, the students, the academic, members of civil society, good morning to all of you. Our environment is what we make it. Unfortunately, we have not yet achieved that level of united consciousness needed to save our environment from the problems that humanity has caused. Some simply don't care. They dump their waste anywhere convenient or tolerate others who do so. They waste water mindless that many others lack access to water. And worse, some oppose measures to enforce environmental laws and fail to recognize government's efforts and achievements rehabilitating our damaged environment. Achievements that did not come without cost because we have lost several lives of forest rangers and other officials in the process. This third Philippine Environment Summit hopes to address this divisiveness by building unity among all stakeholders of the environment. Unity is crucial this third environmental summit's call for unity is not due. It was made during the first summit in February 2016 in Metro Manila, and at the second summit in March 2018 in Cebu City. Our envisioned unity has so far been a very huge challenge. That is why we are intensifying this call. It must be stressed that environmental problems do not choose their victims. Everyone is vulnerable, regardless of political party, ideology, religion, gender, age, race, nationality, or ethnicity. Hence, we should all join hands in facing these problems. For some time now, many sectors here and abroad have been extolling our successful rehabilitation of Boracay Islands environment as a model. While we take pride in what we have achieved thus far, let us be reminded that in the beginning, the temporary shutdown of Boracay's tourism industry was heavily opposed by those with vested interests. Had our government's uh, political will not been unwavering, the shutdown of Boracay's tourism industry would have most likely become permanent with environmental degradation becoming irreversible. This underscores the urgency of achieving unity, now that we have mustered the political will, as never before, to confront, rather than evade, the environmental problems that have haunted our country and our people. The theme of this third Philippine Environment Summit urges a paradigm shift for meaningful change that we can bring about by heeding nature. Indeed, Across the ages, the socio-economic systems and technologies that humanity has developed had the downside of damaging our planet. Nature's cyclical systems were disrupted and became linear. Instead of matter being reused in cycles, 
it was conveniently but unsustainably thrown away as waste. Given the environmental problems that we are facing, we must shift to practices that maximize the use of resources and minimize wastage. This third Philippine Environment Summit also showcases achievements in environmental programs and projects at the national and local levels. This is an important way of informing the public of the reforms underway and inspiring them to be part of the restoration of the grandeur of our environmental heritage through the pursuit of sustainable development. DENR's partnership with the Green Convergence since 2016 as co-conveners of the Philippine Environment Summit is a continuing campaign for safe food, healthy environment, and a sustainable economy. On this note, I thank you all for responding positively to our call for unity and urge you to reach out to others in your communities, organizations, and schools to do the same. Before I close, I'd just like to share a little bit of what has been happening in the Manila Bay Rehabilitation. Um, I have been uh, part of the rehabilitation uh, for the last uh, about six months. And I am very happy to inform all of you that uh, despite everyone's apprehension in the beginning, uh, because of the magnitude of the work that had to be done, uh, we have made a lot of progress. Um, as you know, after Boracay Island, the next uh, instruction of the President was to rehabilitate Manila Bay. And uh, in compliance with the uh, Mandamos order the Supreme Court way back in 2008, which is particularly to return Manila Bay black, uh, back to SB status, which means fit for recreational activities, swimming, and other uh, activities. So um, it has been a really big uh, task. And uh, in the beginning, particularly with no budget, the task force for Manila Bay Rehabilitation was created by the President through an executive order and chaired by the DNR. But uh, with the cooperation of the different government agencies using their regular budgets, uh, we were able to do a lot in the last uh, year. We just celebrated the first year of the rehabilitation uh, efforts last January 26. And we are happy to inform you that uh, the water quality in several areas uh, where we have uh, sampling stations has improved significantly, although still way above the standards uh, in terms of fecal coliform. We all know that uh, a big part of this rehabilitation effort has to do with the relocation of the informal centers um, throughout Manila Bay and the Esteros all leading to Manila Bay. Uh, we have been uh, in heavy discussion already with the concerned government agencies regarding this. It's uh, taken a little time for the relocation because uh, uh, in the past, relocation efforts have uh, failed because uh, the particular places where the, the informal centers are relocated do not sometimes have adequate resources, which is why it's being studied carefully now to ensure that uh, these people, when transferred, uh, will be satisfied and happy in the places that uh, they transfer. That's one aspect. But uh, I just wanted to give you an idea that uh, what we're discussing for the next three days, so we're being united in approaching how to protect and uh, preserve the environment. We saw it here in uh, the Manila Bay Rehabilitation. Uh, yesterday, um, we were all in Navotas uh, because uh, what happened was uh, different river systems were adopted by uh, certain private partners along with the local government units. And I just want to emphasize the fact that uh, given the magnitude of what we have to do in Manila Bay, if we do not have the cooperation of the local government units, and the support of the private sector and the barangays, we will not be able to do it. So yesterday was the launching of the dredging of the Tulyahan River, one of the dirtiest rivers in the National Capital Region. Our private partner for that particular project is San Miguel Corporation.
local government units uh, through which Tulyahan River passes. So the governor of uh, Bulacan was there, the mayor of Navotas, the mayor of uh, Malabon was there. And, you know, we're very happy that everybody's coming together. And we're very hopeful that if we continue in this path, we will be able to uh, finally comply with the uh, order of the Supreme Court to return the uh, Manila Bay to Class SB status. So, uh, in behalf of Secretary Simato and the rest of the DNR, we'd like to thank all the organizers of this uh, three-day summit, particularly Green Convergence led by Dr. Nina Gala, our regional office, uh, very helpful, the SCIS, and all of you attending here for the three days. I'm sure this will be a very fruitful three days for all of you. Marami salamat po.